What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be going over finally the 18mm wide lens that fits the proprietary Polar Pro, Light Chaser Pro 13 vlogging kit. Now, if you've already seen the video, awesome. If you haven't, go ahead and check out the uh, the different filter mounts, the FX mounts that you can be adding to this Light Chaser Pro. I'm currently using the Mist VND 3 to 5. I also go over the case as well as the shutter button, Bluetooth shutter button and grip, and then you know this whole rig that I use when I vlog. Now, I've been waiting for a couple of months here because I ended up purchasing their director's vlogging set that should have come with the wide as well as the two anamorphic lenses, gold and blue. I unfortunately got an email stating that none of the lenses met their quality control when they arrived in the warehouse. And so to my surprise, they ended up just sending me this one and refunding my money for the other kit. A little dis disappointed here that I'm not able to be on their pre-order list. They just got rid of all the all the orders, at least from what I understand. And then anyone who pre-ordered, they sent these for free. So this is pretty much like a prototype. It doesn't meet quality control, meaning the glass may not have, you know, aligned right. It may not have been cut right. So there could be some imperfections. So take it with a grain of salt. With that said, uh, I'm obviously going to be unboxing this and showing you the difference between the two. Um, and then we'll have a completely separate video on a couple of other lenses out there that you guys can check out, especially the shift cam as well as the moment comparisons. Also, this is not a sponsored video. Polar Pro didn't, I, I tried to reach out, but the, they didn't respond to my email. I got the stuff, uh, well, technically for free because they refunded me, but nonetheless, I paid for the whole kit. And, uh, and so you know where my bias is. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability of all the products we go over here today. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Let's jump right into it. As you can see, the Light Chaser Pro is really awesome. Completely new grip here and uh, shutter button. I've got my adapter as well as the shotgun mic from Small Rig. Now, as I showed you in my review here, this is their proprietary lens mount. Unfortunately, you cannot add any other M mounts or any other uh, like, 17 millimeter screw mounts. Uh, they only allow you to use Polar Pro's uh, lenses, basically. Let's go ahead and just unbox this quickly here. Pretty straightforward, minimal packing. Oh my gosh, this lens is huge. <laughs> You've got your real nice microfiber cloth. You got your minimal uh, information guide here and whatnot. This says iPhone 13 anamorphic lens. Uh, did I get the anamorphic lens? Huh? No, this is the 18 wide. Interesting. So it looks like you've got a little finger mount here, or if you wanted to put this on, put this on something else. I actually have a good idea for this. Uh, I actually really, really like this case module system. This lens cap protector thingy just twists off like that. And then, uh, wow. And then this is kind of how you apply it to the case itself. So. We're going to go ahead then and follow uh, the grooves here, these little wing tips right here, um, you know, right on the little module mount and uh, try to align it best I can. It looks like it looks like here there's a smaller wing tip on the top, the broader wing tip on the bottom. That is their proprietary whatever. And then you turn it until it clicks. Whoa. And then once you do that, the lens cap comes off. This is my first impressions. I'm a little speechless. This is a beautiful lens. I mean, look at that. It looks fantastic. Going around it, you can see 18 millimeter Polar Pro. Um, you've got this uh, this grip here, two tone like bronze. But uh, the way that it kind of comes off is the whole unit kind of like it doesn't pivot from the center. I can feel it pivoting from the edge, and uh, as I turn and turn and turn, it it grips it and then let's go it's really interesting when you it's a lot more secure in my opinion than maybe the moment lens mounting system because the moment lens was like like a, a quarter turn or a 90 degree turn this is like one 180 and then it kind of clicks so you get you get two different twists boom boom and, it, and, and then it locks right there in place and it's right up against the lens here on the on the mounting system 
getting you a little bit of closer shot here you can tell the lens is very spherical the housing is really large and it's it's impressive i'm gonna be honest when you throw on the grip you've got the matching you know buttons with with the bronzing and the shutter button and it just it looks spectacular i mean look at that Okay, secondly, it looks like it came with the FX filter mount, uh, which is nice. It isn't sold separately. If you guys know, um, Moment actually sells theirs separately, and this kind of just press fits on. And uh, it, it, you can press fit it right there. And if you wanted to throw the Mist ND, I am like ecstatic that I'm going to be able to throw this right on here. I had no idea that it could work. Place it in the groove, and then you pull it down. Make sure it's fully twisted on, and then there you have it. There it is. Take off the... Okay, so maybe maybe it's the filter mount, because that... It's not... It's not sticking... Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. Is it supposed to grip? I'm, I'm trying to take off the lens cap, but it, the lens cap was on there too strong. And I don't have a way. It just kind of press fits on to the lens. There's no like real good way to take the lens cap off. But once you do, look at that. That is just a beast. And uh, I can tell there is some quality issues here. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit right. And it is a little bit off. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to be able to, it's supposed to lock in place. But it's really loose once I once I got this filter mount on there. And then I can't really push it up against where it's supposed to. Why don't we go ahead then and uh, jump right into the demonstration. Okay, we're here on location with the Light Juicer Pro. We're going to show you what it looks like with the lens. I'm going to do a pass and then we'll do the same pass taking off the lens and showing you what it looks like. I have not seen what it looks like. This is my first impressions. Uh, this is what you're going to be using for the 18 millimeter Polar Pro lens for your Light Chaser Pro 13 on 13 Pro Max. Let's do this. That was a mouthful. Okay, there we go. Just uh, use the shutter button to hit go. Uh, you can see here on the edge that it does have some fringe blurring. So I think Polar Pro is right. You can see that there is kind of this uh, burning, not necessarily burning, but uh, this blur halo around the edges here however right in the center of the subject here you can see that it's pretty clean i'm going to zoom in here up to about 3x because it'll swap to 3x lens you know actually it didn't i'm still digitally zooming here uh, on the 3x you're seeing that you're losing a lot of quality there because it's not necessarily switching to the telly but you know zooming up to 3x is not too bad obviously when you go into uh the wide then it's going to clip back and then this is what ends up happening sometimes it gets locked here and it won't it won't switch back and so what I end up having to do is I end up having to stop the recording killing the app this is what often happens here is it'll switch to the wide lens and uh, you'll you know you'll see the lens here and you can't really swap it back when that happens you just kill the app go back into it and then it'll refresh and then this is when you'll hit record all right, I'm gonna pan here and see if there's any uh, kind of uh, jitter or like stutter. There kind of is. You can kind of see as it uh, goes back, there, there's a little bit of like a distortion here. It doesn't feel, you know, 100% clean. However, that 18 mil looks really, 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 really clean. I've reviewed a lot of different lenses and uh, the moment compared to the shift can 18, this one is clean. If they could just get that fringe blurring here to, to, to work, that'll be awesome. We're gonna pan to the left, pan to the right. We're gonna go back to center, pan. We're gonna tilt up and down. And then we're gonna go like this. Okay, we're gonna do our next pass here. We're gonna just walk and show you what stabilization looks like with it. Bring you right up to this point. Turn back and pan. And we'll do a, a little jog. 
no stabilization. I'm just stabilizing with my hand, showing you what that looks like, slowing down right here. Okay, so you can grip it here. Um, you can put the grip on the back side, uh, less touching the screen here, and you can do kind of a, uh, a selfie uh, mode here with the lens. So I'm gonna be showing you what that looks like, you know, with the camera lens and both off. Uh, if you're wanting to do kind of like a hands reach uh, vlogging kind of a thing, you can't really see yourself, but you can move around and uh, show you what it looks like. Guys, I'm, uh, I'm here vlogging, being awesome. That's what I like about the Polar Pro is I'm able to actually grip it on the backside here. What do you think is fun? The sun just came out. That's terrific. Okay, so now I'm on the 3X. I don't know why you'd want to put an 18 millimeter on the 3X, but there is a possibility that you can. You can see that it's less punched in than you normally would be. But uh, I mean, this gives you maybe like a two and a half X. I don't know what 18 millimeter added on to the 3X would be. It just makes it wider. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But uh, let's go ahead and take the lens off here. As you can see, punches further in. You have better stabilization on the 3X for the iPhone. So uh, you might as well just keep the 3X on. I don't know why you'd want that. I put the camera on cinematic mode with the lens. And in the past, I, uh, I had a problem with lenses being able to put in cinematic mode. Uh, as you can see, it's not really able to pull the subject right because it's calibrating under the wrong pretext. Uh, I've got obviously the 18 millimeter and so you can see everything is kind of blurry. It's not really, you know, getting me that crisp, nice cinematic look. Okay, now we're here on the regular lens, taking it off here and showing you some macro shots. We're gonna get close to the post here. Show you here, it does, it, it looks a lot more stretched as you get closer. You are getting, uh, you know, some nice blur, got the field here on the edges, as you can see, you know, a nice clear image, although it does look a little bowed, a little skewed here. Let's get closer to these rocks, show you what that looks like. Obviously uh, it is punched in closer, so the closer I get, it's probably gonna switch into the macro mode. Good depth of field here. I still think there's a, there's a little like oblongingness with the iPhone. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you here is that it comes with a filter mount, which is really nice. Uh, you can put the VND uh, mist filter mount three to five, which is one of my favorites. It just goes right on. Remember I had issues with peeling off the lens cover, but now it's looking good. Let's go ahead and show you what that looks like here. Okay, I hit record here and we've got the VND on. What this does is it makes your skin much smoother, but ideally I'd like to have some sunlight. So, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe it looks good this way. Um, I do have a separate video specifically for this specific FX filter, but uh, it's supposed to make, it's supposed to disperse the light, making uh, it less harsh on your face in direct light. It's, it's fun for shooting kids, summer videos and all that kind of stuff. All right, my Pungyos, well, that about does it here. I really think that the look really fits my lifestyle. It is really what I'm trying to go for, just the sleek, really awesome, like head-turning kind of a, a, a rig here, and uh, Polar Pro nailed it. Uh, I do notice here that there are definitely some quality issues, like, for instance, the uh, adapter mount for the FX filters. I can tell that it's a little funky there and it didn't quite stay on during the demonstration. However, the lens to me, it didn't really look like it was off much. There was a little bit of fringing and maybe some blurring on the edges, but you know, cropping in just a tiny bit, just 1.1 really was able to resolve that here. And I was able to get a really good picture adding to that the FX uh, filters. And I was able to get such a beautiful wide angle uh, shot 18 millimeter on that 1X lens because that's really the kicker here for the uh, 13 Pro Max. Uh, shooting everything on that 1X just makes everything look so much more beautiful, more, more rich. And now like, I'm really, really excited to be able to jump back into a vlogging with, with my family. Um, unfortunately, you know, this isn't available right now. You can't really get it. And this was only given to those folks here who pre-ordered the actual kit. And so I'm sorry guys that you're not able to see this, uh, but do please check up above or down below in the links uh, for the comparison videos of the wide angle of the polar of the moment and the shift cam. 
because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that this is this is quite a contender. Now that I've got a filter mount, holy crap, nerd chills all around, guys. Uh, down below in the links in the description are going to be product pricing and availability and some of the other uh, products that I did review here. If you guys are interested, please check that out. It does help out the channel. Otherwise, this is not a sponsored video, and I'm going to have some fun making uh, some awesome videos with this gear. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you want to see more. Andy with Andy Vlog signing out.